Have you ever stood under the vast expanse of the night sky and wondered, where do we come from? Who are we? These questions have baffled the greatest minds for generations, and yet the answers lie not in the stars above, but in the history buried beneath our feet. Our story is a fascinating tale that spans millions of years, a testament to our resilience and adaptability. It's a journey that has seen us evolve from primitive species to the complex beings that we are today. Each chapter of our history is etched in stone, in the fossils of our ancestors, and in the DNA that courses through our veins. The echoes of our ancient past are all around us, whispering secrets of where we come from, who we are, and perhaps even hinting at where we might be going. Join us as we delve deep into our past and explore our roots, our story. Our journey begins around 6 million years ago, with the earliest known human ancestors. Picture a time when the world was a vastly different place. A time when our earliest ancestors began to distinguish themselves from their primate cousins. The Sahelanthropus chadensis, one of the oldest known species in the human family tree, roamed the African landscape. Named after the Sahel region of Chad, where its first remains were discovered, this species is believed to have lived around 7 million years ago. The Sahelanthropus was a fascinating creature. It was quite small, standing only about 4 feet tall, yet it had a brain size comparable to modern chimpanzees. The structure of its skull suggests that it may have been able to walk upright, a key characteristic that would come to define us as humans. Its lifestyle was a far cry from ours today. Living in a world dominated by nature, the Sahelanthropus had to contend with a harsh and unforgiving environment. It survived by foraging for food, using simple tools to dig for roots and crack open nuts. But survival in this era was not just about physical strength, it was about developing the ability to adapt and innovate. The Sahelanthropus, like other early human ancestors, began to exhibit signs of this adaptive behavior. They began to modify their surroundings, creating tools that would help them survive in their harsh environment. This ability to adapt and innovate is a key characteristic of our species, and it was first seen in these early human ancestors. These early beings, primitive as they may seem to us now, were the beginning of our story. They were the first to walk on two legs, the first to use tools, and the first to show signs of adaptability and innovation. They were the first steps on the long and winding road to modern man. So, as we trace our lineage back to these early ancestors, we begin to see the dawn of man, a time when the seeds of humanity were first sown, setting the stage for the evolution of our species. These early beings were the first steps on the long and winding road to modern man. As time passed, our ancestors began to walk upright, marking a significant milestone in our evolution. This transition from knuckle walking to bipedalism, or walking on two legs, was no small feat. It was a significant step forward in our evolution, a shift that changed everything. Now why did this happen? The most widely accepted theory suggests that bipedalism arose as our ancestors adapted to a changing environment. As the forests receded and grasslands expanded, walking upright allowed early hominids to see over tall grass, spot potential predators, and forage for food more efficiently. But let's take a step back, to about 3 to 4 million years ago, to meet one of the key players in this evolutionary drama, Australopithecus afarensis. This early hominid, best known from the famous fossil Lucy, was one of the first to exhibit this key trait. Lucy and her kin were not quite like us, but they were more like us than anything that had come before. They had brains about the size of an orange, and while they still spent some time in the trees, they also walked upright on the ground. This upright posture freed their hands, allowing them to carry food, use tools, and perform a host of other tasks that were previously impossible. It wasn't just about survival, it was about adaptation and progress. It was about becoming more than what we were, about reaching towards what we could be, just imagine these early hominids standing tall on the African savanna, looking out over the grasslands. They were not yet human, not as we understand it, but in their stance, you can see the first glimmers of humanity, you can see the promise of what we could become. Walking upright was more than just a physical transformation, it was a turning point, a leap forward in our evolutionary journey. It set us on a path that would lead us to new horizons, to new possibilities, to us. With this new ability our ancestors set the stage for the next phase of our evolution. Around two and a half million years ago, a new genus emerged, Homo, marking a critical turning point in our story. This was a time when our ancestors began to display traits that are uniquely human. 
The Homo genus was distinct from its predecessors in several ways, the most noticeable being the size of their brains, which were significantly larger, and their bodies, which had become more similar to ours. The first species of the Homo genus to appear was Homo habilis, aptly named Handyman, for their proven ability to create basic tools. These weren't just any tools but complex ones, crafted with a level of skill and precision never seen before. The Homo habilis was a game-changer, using these tools not just for survival, but also to manipulate their environment in ways that would benefit them. This newfound ability to craft tools was a significant leap forward in the evolution of our ancestors. It allowed them to hunt more efficiently to process food in more sophisticated manners, and to explore and adapt to new environments. This was the dawn of a new era, an era where Homo was beginning to master its surroundings. Then came Homo erectus, the upright man. This species was even more similar to us with a larger brain and a body built for endurance. Homo erectus was the first to leave Africa, expanding into Asia and Europe marking the beginning of human migration. This wanderlust, this need to explore is something inherently human, and it started with Homo erectus. These species of the Homo genus were explorers, innovators, survivors, they hunted, they gathered, they created and they ventured into the unknown. They paved the way for future generations learning and adapting, evolving and growing. The Homo genus was a game-changer, setting the course for the arrival of the most advanced species yet. It was during this period that the foundation for modern humanity was laid, igniting the spark that would eventually become us, Homo sapiens. 200,000 years ago, in the heart of Africa, a new species emerged, Homo sapiens, our direct ancestors. These were beings who looked much like us, with similar brain size and physical characteristics. Their bodies were lighter and more agile, suited to a lifestyle that was constantly on the move. They were hunter-gatherers, living off the land and adapting to various environments. But what really set Homo sapiens apart was not just their physicality, but their minds. They possessed an unprecedented level of cognitive complexity. They could think, plan and communicate in ways that their predecessors simply could not. They developed a complex language far beyond simple signals or calls. This allowed them to share ideas, tell stories and pass knowledge down the generations. Their culture too was rich and varied. They created symbolic art, showing a capacity for abstract thought and self-expression. They made tools, not just for survival but for convenience and efficiency. They buried their dead with rituals, hinting at a belief in an afterlife or a spiritual realm. It was these cognitive abilities that allowed Homo sapiens to migrate out of Africa, some 70,000 years ago. They ventured into unknown terrains, adapting to new climates, hunting new species and encountering other hominids. They navigated vast oceans, towering mountains and dense forests, reaching as far as Europe, Asia and eventually the Americas. And everywhere they went, they transformed the landscape. They shaped the world not just to survive but to thrive. They built shelters, controlled fire, and planted the seeds of agriculture. They formed communities, established trade networks, and laid the foundations of civilization. In the grand tapestry of human evolution, Homo sapiens were not just survivors. They were innovators, creators, explorers. They looked at the world around them and saw not just what it was, but what it could be. Homo sapiens, the wise man, were not just survivors but innovators, creators, explorers. From the earliest human ancestors to the modern Homo sapiens, our journey has been long and full of challenges. We've traced back the footsteps of our ancestors from the dawn of man and our first upright steps to the emergence of the Homo genus and the rise of Homo sapiens. Each chapter of our past is a testament to our resilience, our boundless curiosity, and our innate desire to understand the world around us. Our history is not merely a sequence of events, but a mirror that reflects our own nature. It's a tale of survival against all odds, of innovation that shaped our evolution, and of exploration that expanded our horizons. Understanding our past is the key to understanding who we are today. It helps us acknowledge our roots, appreciate our achievements, and anticipate our potential. As we gaze at the stars and wonder about our place in the universe we must remember, we are the descendants of survivors, innovators and explorers. This is our story.